have you ever had a chance to sit back and and, and look at the role that Cannibal Corpse has played in in death metal as a genre and the opens the the doors that it has opened for for so many other bands that have followed? Oh yeah, man. I mean, you know how I think it's how can we not? We hear about it a lot through the upcoming bands and bands over the years that you know, were influenced by us and death metal and all that kind of thing and. uh I mean, it's just, you know, that's, that's what makes you really keep going as well. It makes you feel good that you've accomplished something in life. If you can really move somebody in that manner, uh, fan and band alike, you know, if you can, if somebody can pick up an instrument because of you or, or right, you can uh, help out in somebody's life if they're going through hard times and your mu music gets them through that. I mean, it's just, you know, it's a, that's what it's all about. It, it really makes you feel that you've done something positive in, with your life and with your band so so yeah i mean i think it's hard not to uh not not to hear about it not to see it since we've been around as long as we have and uh you know you, when you talk to people they they you know bring it up all the time so uh it's good to hear i mean it makes you feel good and like i said uh we're just happy that uh we have our place in history and uh and that it's uh a pretty pretty good place where we'll take it you know we've been uh you know, like I said, getting back to what I was saying earlier, just, you know, lucky, a lot of hard work, luck involved. I mean, fortunate to be where we're at and, you know, you got to make the most of it and, uh, and and be happy with it. So I think we have been. I, I remember as a, as a young teenager discovering Cannibal Corpse and uh, it was seeing the CDs on sale at the local record store in Portugal. I, that's where I grew up. Mm -hmm. And I had never heard a single song, but what attracted me to the band was the artwork. And I was like, man, if the artwork looks like that, I can only imagine what's on the inside. You know what I mean? And, and <laughs> such such a selling point, and, and mm -hmm. it's always been such a huge point uh, of the band to have really provocative uh, artwork and push the envelope with that artwork. Uh, right. Is it is it easier or harder to push that envelope today? Uh, you know. That yeah, might be a little harder. I mean, back in the early days, of course, when it was new, it was maybe a little more, uh, you know, it was new. It's, it wasn't really being done. Um, I mean, what, obviously why we did it was, you know, we're doing what you did. Exactly. We, 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 when we went to the record stores to buy new music or, you know, bands that were just discovering, like, well, let's go and see, check it out. And how, how most of the stuff you're getting is because of the album cover at that point, right? You're looking at a, a, a creator endless pain cover or something like that. You go, wow, that's brutal. I mean, I hope the music is, and it ended up luckily being right. So um, a lot of, of the music we got at back as teenagers was that the way you did it. Right. So, um, as fans of the music, we want to just take it to the next level. You know, you start getting a little older and, and our influence of being Slayer and, you know, and, uh, you know, Sodom and, you know, bands that are really pushing the envelope at that point with, with some of their, their covers. Well, we felt, well, we just need to take it to a, another step. We want to be, we want that, we want to still be that fan that would walk into a record store and look at like, exactly like eating back to life and go, wow, that is, I need this. I need this. I don't know what it is, but I need it, <laughs> you know, and I hope it's going to end up being, you know, something good um but you had a feeling it was i don't know why it's just right it went hand yeah. in hand with like that you know for me it was, uh, it was two things you would look at the artwork and you would look at the label that was releasing the album true. because yeah. it, it was like staples right like metal right. blade there was there was uh, mega force uh yeah. Year Eight. there was some staples around that time of yeah. the late 80s early 90s that you knew that if you if the artwork right. was hitting and the label was behind it the record yeah. would be good Yep, you're right. You're right. No, that was a big key. Yes. Anything on Megaforce, on Combat, Metal Blade, exactly. It was always, you knew it was going to be probably really good. Um, you know, so so it, it it went hand in hand, of course, with Cannibal. I mean, I, and now it like get back to the I guess the full question like nowadays, right? It's not new anymore. You know, we're we're it's been there, done that. When you have albums like butchered at birth and doom of the mutilated you know and they're and they're as old as they are now in a sense it's like well how do you top those covers really it's a little more it's a little tough to do that so you just gotta you know be be creative and try to do something new i think we did fairly well like with violence unimagined i think man what an album cover that turned out yes. to be um you know rivaling um the the best ones we've got like butchered and tomb so you know, I think Chaos Horrific is a is a cool album cover, a little different than than what we normally do. Uh, uh, obviously, to fit the the theme of the the uh, the album, Chaos Horrific, very chaotic cover. 
something more so than we normally we don't have anything like that so so it might be getting a little tougher but at the same time you know i don't think it's as important either um you know and that's a testament to al albums say like uh you know kill for instance when we when we came out with kill and 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 you have no cover and it's just cannibal corpse kill i mean what's the selling point other than cannibal corpse okay it's a new cannibal corpse record you know let's get it and and luckily i mean the fans loved that record it was a big album for us it pushed us to a kind of the next level in a lot of ways and why it wasn't because of the cover it was because of the music so so we always looked at well the music is going to be first and foremost of, of, and then you want to have something cool to go along with it visually of course but uh but I, I think it's not really as a, as essential as it maybe was. And and like I said, even back then, we weren't doing it because we felt we needed it. We just wanted to do do it as, as fans of music. To, that's what we want to see. So so I think, um, you know, it's uh, it was it was it, it was it was important, always has been, but not uh, maybe not as much so now. And, you know, just as long as it's something cool, something, something dark, something that fits it, that fits the time. I mean, there's going to be better covers possibly than others, but man, Vince is a great artist. He does a great job on everyone. And, um, you know, and I, I don't, there's not a bad cover we have. Maybe there's of course more brutal than others. Of course, you know, everyone's going to have their, their opinions and their, their favorites and their least favorites, but, uh, that's just the way it goes. And, uh, you know, that's as, as long as Vince is doing the work too, that's important for us.